Welcome back. We are going to talk about something that really is the heart of spring. I believe adoption is something we've not talked about before. We haven't, and it's so meaningful to me personally because my sister and brother-in-law are adopting, and I have several cousins who have been adopted, and it's, you know, you just join a bigger family, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful. So I can't wait to talk about it. And it's a very experience. special person who does that. It is. Who opens their heart to mm -hmm. a child. And Carrie G. Semmelman is here to talk to us about the book that she co-wrote, which is Adoption Affirmations, How the Book Came to Be. But Carrie G., you've got a lot of stories that I think are so inspirational for our viewers and for us, indeed. So tell us how the book came to be. First of all, thank you so much for having me here. Oh, we're thrilled to have I mean, you. It's, it really takes a whole community. I love hearing that, that you have family that have adopted. Mm -hmm. It really takes a whole community to look out for children's well-being and to adopt. Uh, about 10 years ago, I was at an event, and an 18-year-old boy who had never been adopted, so he, adopt, he actually grew out of the system, mm -hmm. not having parents. And he spoke to the audience, and it sticks with me, he said, Every year when I had a birthday, I, I just wished that when I was blowing out the candle, I was surrounded by family, people who would call themselves family, mm -hmm. and that never happened. And it just stuck in my mind. Fast forward, mm -hmm. got married late in life, and uh, first marriage, never had children, and my husband and I decided that we would adopt. And the adoption journey is really what inspired. It was five years, and I have relatives who've adopted within two months. Mm -hmm. But ours was five years, and with a lot of heartbreak, a lot of things that didn't go exactly as planned. However, now I can look back, and even during it, I started to do some positive self-talking about, you gotta keep hopeful here. Mm -hmm. And because of that hope, we ended up with this amazing daughter, and Aubrey, and uh, she came into the world a few months early at a pound and a half. Wow. And we have the, the honor of her being our daughter. I tell her, you're, you're my role model. <laughs> so it, it, she really, she's really is inspired. She how, is. how old is she? She's almost nine now. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's great. So in talking to you earlier, um, it's amazing to me. I think most people don't think about what it really takes to go through the process of adoption and how many times you can face frustration and disappointment and heartbreak if the birth mother changes her mind or mm -hmm. you know everybody has their rights up until the moment right. that the child is placed in your arms. Mm -hmm. They actually have in California, I don't know what the latest law is, but when we were adopting they have another 30 days even after the child mm -hmm. is placed if they should choose to reclaim. And we did have that happen and you know it, it made us stronger and it helped inspire this to help many others. There is something called an emotional pregnancy uh, that I coined in the book that when you're going through this, you have the labor pains, you're laboring, you know, the decisions you have to make, will somebody choose you, will the, you feel a connection with the child, all these ways that you're literally, and then you have all kinds of, of of thoughts that maybe people who are going through an actual physical pregnancy are having. And with us, we probably had about seven or eight possible adoptions. Mm. And the beauty is I can look back and say, I learned from every single one, and we helped every single situation, whether it was a child, a grandparent, whoever was in that story, they, they were helped, we were helped. And so I can look back and, and I have a, an epiphany from writing this book that there is no such thing as a failed adoption. Hmm. In, in the beginning, I, I was, is this really meant for us? If things aren't going right, you know, should we try something else? And, and we just kept hopeful. Hmm. But we learned we had to do positive self-talk. And then I was hearing people that were giving up. And that doesn't mean they wouldn't have been a good parent just because they gave up. The heartbreak is hard. Yeah. But I thought they need a companion that can be a book that they can read these affirmations if they need to be picked up. If they are, even if they're really excited and they need to calm down before they meet the birth source, the birth mom. The book allows them to read some of the affirmations or to even flip through the book because this is, if it's not the first, it's one of the first affirmation books that's a flip book. So 
instead of flipping out before these things, I encourage them to flip the pages yeah. and they'll actually see a tree grow. And, and I, I love to say that it's like planting a seed and mm -hmm. as your hope grows, so too does the yeah. realization of your own family tree. And so the tree literally grows. Oh, that's that's, that's amazing. beautiful. Well, as I was reading these affirmations before, um, before our segment, one of the ones that really stuck out at me was, we're love related, not blood related. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was just beautiful. When I, we were going through adoption, one of my concerns, and I have a whole section on the fears, you know, overcoming the mm -hmm. fears and all the, what could be counterproductive self-talk. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know, are, are they going to feel like family? Are they gonna feel a connection? Am mm -hmm. I gonna feel a connection? Mm -hmm. And that's why the, one of the babies that we brought home uh, that's what it taught me. Mm. By the time we got him out of the hospital to the car, I was already protecting him, making mm. sure that he was safe as I walked across this gravel parking lot mm -hmm. and get him in the car safely. And I said, I'm connected. I feel mm. the connection. There was a love connection already. Wow, already. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. that is so what, what kind of advice do you recommend for people who are considering adopting? What would you say? What if somebody thinks, well, you know, maybe, I, maybe I'm up for it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something that I want mm -hmm. to do, but I'm not sure. Like, they, what would you say? I mean, there's a whole, I mean, the, the affirmations that talk to overcoming all those self-doubts, because mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, the, most of them are. There's like, a lot of them are the same as if you're giving birth to a child mm -hmm. through your own body, right? Right. You know, am I right for this? Am I going to be able to be a good parent? Mm -hmm. Do I have the money for this? Yeah. <laughs> Can I afford it, right? These are all... And so, first of all, to your question is, what advice is that take it all in and realize that this is all a natural process. Mm -hmm. Secondly, focus more on the, the end of that journey, which is the child who needs you so much. Yeah. And there are so many children out there that are in need of being adopted. Yeah. That was what partly, you know, inspired me was mm -hmm. the staggering statistics of children that need to be adopted and knowing that there's babies born every day who are mm -hmm. being put up for adoption. Mm -hmm. The second is I would say is it really have a commitment that every experience you go through is going to help you to reach the child that's meant for you. Mm -hmm. I often equate it to dating for mm -hmm. anybody who wants to have a significant other you know, you're going to have heartbreaks. You're not going to, there are very few, and I know some, and they're, boy, are they blessed that they met the right person the first time out. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's like that. You meet a lot of different birth sources. The, the birth moms, you meet different attorneys, you meet different adoption facilitators, you meet other people who've adopted. They're all part of your story. Mm -hmm. And just take it all in. And, and instead of that didn't work or that failed, what did I learn from it? Mm -hmm. you know, how did I grow? How did I help them? Mm -hmm. that's right. A, that's a wonderful, um, beautiful, mm -hmm. and you know, great affir affirming way to mm -hmm. look at it. Well, mm -hmm. and when we were speaking, I think the thing that stuck out stuck out for me was when you said, "There is no doubt in my mind that for every parent that." For every person that wants to be an adoptive parent, there is a child, a child waiting for them. Mm -hmm. There is. And you just mm -hmm. have to go through the process to mm -hmm. find that child, to find your mm -hmm. child. So let's talk about Aubrey for a little bit, because you and she have taken on this <laughs> really amazing project, which I'm loving so <laughs> much. So wonderful. Tell us how this came about. Uh, well, she knows I love to write, and I write little stories and she helps me color them that I to teach your values and this time I said how about if we do a little book about all of our favorites as mm -hmm. a family as a relationship between you and me with daddy you and me and so it we just started probably about a year and a half two years ago and in the beginning I'm writing and after a while right. she has started writing so it's really beautiful to see mm -hmm. the you know, how right. she's evolved we wrote out a list and you know 20, 30 things that we could think of that we love and together. Mm -hmm. And so it started with, you know, we love our, you know, we love be having a home and we, it got to things like, sh we, we love, love that she plays Legos. <laughs> we love books. We love going on road trips. And, 
We love special kisses, and we named 15, 20 kisses that we have. Look at, look at, how, I love, look how cute is your right? picture? And then look, she's <laughs> actually playing with an animated Lego she as is, like a friend. She is. She and is. Yeah. we decide what color she's going to be wearing, so we, we discuss it, which is really good for development too, but also the, mm -hmm. the fun. So we're going to have a pink dress, and I want my hair this time and ponytails going straight out. You know, all oh, the, that's and so, so we great. get to interact with it, and then we mm -hmm. color. And here's the most beautiful part. When we're done if, with every two-page spread she looks at me every time every time we're at about 20 spreads so far and she says mom they look just alike <laughs> our pictures look just and I go they do and they I am, do. They are I am so thrilled beautiful. so it is wonderful. such a fun and maybe, maybe a she'll write a book project. someday too about her life but she she's incredible I mean she came into the world very early and she's just this beautiful spirit this uh, and you know, like you said, having a child that's meant just for you. Mm -hmm. So we brought home children. We we had um, stayed with, by staying, we didn't live with them, but we stayed hopeful with one birth mom for seven months. Mm -hmm. And at seven months, her sister changed her mind and decided to adopt. Uh. So it was heartbreaking, but the birth mom at the time was at an abortion clinic when we mm -hmm. got the call. Mm -hmm. And she chose to, knowing that we were in the wings, to say we would adopt. She chose to go home and have a healthy pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And so you help that one, right? I mean, that's that's, that's right. it. That's right. So um, each each one is absolutely amazing, each one. I, I Aubrey was meant for us, and you said, you know, the right one finds you. So she ends up having a cultural background that is so, um, so right for us, I mm. mean, both culturally and spiritually, and uh, it's, uh, part of her story is um, that uh, she's um, part Native American Indian. Mm -hmm. And I stayed on an Indian reservation for a week when I was mm -hmm. in my 20s and stayed right with the children and learned so much about their culture. And it was the same tribe that she's from. Oh, wow. wow. Mm -hmm. That's remarkable. Mm -hmm. I remember growing up, my mother had a cousin who adopted two children who would have been about my age. But what I found really remarkable was that the, the boy looked like the adopted father and the girl looked like the adopted mother more than my brother and I ever looked like our parents. Hmm. It was so clear that they were meant to be together, that, that the children could look in the mirror and see themselves in that family, hmm. that they were so directly connected. It was, you know, even then, just something that really stood out. I, I agree with you. I think there's yeah, a real intention there. There is, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you, in the beginning, and the, oh, this is some other good advice. So in the beginning, you have your list, just like if you're dating. I have my list of right. the perfect you know, mate, right? And then as you evolve and you get to know people and you see yourself interact with those types of mm -hmm. situations, you, you start really realizing what's important. Mm -hmm. You know, so at the beginning, you know, we had our list as well. And we tell people just to come out, your list should be just an open heart because the right mm -hmm. child's gonna find you like we said. Mm -hmm. And um, Aubrey couldn't be more perfect too. Oh. So couldn't I wanna perfect, offer you before so. we wrap up and we have to wrap up, I'm sorry, we could talk to you for hours, but I wanna congratulate you because you were just recently informed that you are a 2019 finalist for Orange County's Author of Influence Award. Thank you. So for this book oh, and for all that you're doing for the uh -huh. people who you're helping, congratulations. Thank you, it's been a whirlwind. I mean, with Amazon bestseller in the last uh, week on national radio, uh, just some wonderful, and, and all that is, is not about me, it's about getting this message out that it's the entire community who can really help children get adopted. I hear people who say, I don't have any children, I don't need the book. It's like, you don't know the next person you meet that may be the perfect person to adopt right. somebody you learn about. And so we all, we all can do it, you know, we all can make it happen. So thank you, and thank you for having me so here. We're so happy to have you here. And people can find you or find out more about you at adoptionaffirmations.com, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we will send them there, we'll have that on the screen so thank everyone you so will know how much. to find you. Thank you, and we'll be back.